getting the right yarn. That's at the heart of everything that we do, really. And we wanted a yarn that had quite an old-fashioned vintage feel to it and handle when you're knitting and that stitch work would look really, really good in it. So it had very good, what we call stitch definition, which is where the pattern pops out of the knitting and is very evident. We got this beautiful two-ply yarn with an extra twist, which is quite unique and really lovely. And it's got great meterage. It goes a very long way when you knit it and it's very soft and light. And the colors are very Scottish and almost heathery in the blend. And we've chosen 10 colours to start with, a nice mix of naturals and colour, and colour, quite strong colour, which reflects the Scottish landscape and environment. So we've got Lagan for the deep lochs in the middle of the Highlands, which I particularly love. Then we've got um, Silver Birch. Uh, I love the bark of the birch tree. And we have jasper after the wonderful stones, precious stones that the Victorians particularly admired, um, Scottish stones. And then morion again, which is a black quartz, a very dark grey quartz, um, which you sometimes find on the shore. Amethyst, again, Scotland's quite famous for its natural gemstones and the amethyst is such a strong Scottish colour. I really love that. And then Brock, after the stonework on the Brocks on um, Skye and up in Shetland. And Storm Petrel, after the little bird that you find off the west coast that flies at night low over the sea. And I love those kind of greens, um, really dark green and black. And then we have um, this amazing orange, which is coral and it's named after the coral that you get with a scallop when you open the shell. Um, and then we have the agate, again a Scottish stone. And finally we've got beech nut, which is like the inside of the, um, of the nut when you open it. <laughs>